In addition to pivot table styles, you also, on the pivot table tools design tab in the ribbon, have pivot table style options. Now the idea here, for example, is I'm clicked on a pivot table, I've chosen a particular style, which is medium 11, and what I can turn on simply by clicking and ticking is banded rows. If I tick the option banded rows, this particular style shows my banded rows as a green line. Let me just choose a different style, because depending on the style that you choose, depends on the, how the banded rows appear. For example, Pivot Table Light 2 shows the banded rows as a fill colour. So I might choose Light 4. So if your reader has a tendency to read across rows, you may actually assist them doing that by applying banded rows. But if your reader tends to read down, you might turn off the banded rows and turn on the banded columns. And this assists them to read down. Or some people will turn on both. But I'm just going to turn on banded rows. Now another tick option here is column headers. If I untick column headers, you can actually see that the formatting disappears at the top of my pivot table. And when ticked again, it reappears. If I untick row headers, you'll see that the bold disappears, or the formatting disappears, of each of my row headings. So I'll leave those two on. Now another thing with regards to formatting or, or changing the design of your pivot table is a button on the far left here called Subtitles. At the moment, the pivot table will show me subtotals at the top of each group. Some people prefer to hit this button and say show the subtotals at the bottom of the group. And so now I can see my totals appear at the bottom of the group. So that's something you can control using this button. Show the subtotals at the bottom of the group, at the top of the group, or maybe you don't want to show them at all. With regards to grand totals, you can choose whether you have grand totals on the rows only, on the column only, on both the row and the column, or neither. At the moment, we have a grand total per row, and we have grand totals per column. So we have it on both the rows and the columns, and I like to keep it like that. Another button that you have here is Report Layout. Now if I click this button, I can change it from the default, which is what we've currently got, which is the compact form. I can instead show the outline form, which is a little bit more spacious, and sometimes easier, I think, to read. You can also change it to a tabular form. And there are other options here, like repeating labels and not repeating labels. So I'm going to go with the outline form. And then the last button I want to draw attention to is the blank rows button. Sometimes it's actually useful to insert a blank row between each group, again to help segment or differentiate the various regions. So I'll choose blank rows, and I'll insert a blank row after each item, which in this case is a region. So there are a lot of options under the Design tab, Pivot Table Tools Design, that will assist you with improving the look of your pivot table and making it easier for people to read. I'm just going to put it back to how I roughly had it. So I'm going to turn off the blank rows, remove blank line between after each item, I'm also going to collapse each region by going back to the Pivot Table Tools Analyze tab and clicking on Auckland and hitting this button here with the red minus called Collapse Field.